Let's investigate the effect of resistance on bulb brightness for a series circuit. We're going to build these three circuits. All three have a 9 volt battery with a positive terminal on the right hand side. All the circuits have a switch that's not shown in the circuit diagram. Each circuit has a bulb. The first circuit has one 10 ohm resistor in series with that bulb. The second circuit has two 10 ohm resistors in series with the bulb. And the third circuit has three 10 ohm resistors also in series with the bulb. So now let's open the FET simulation circuit construction kit and let's build these circuits. So here I've already built two of the circuits. I'm busy building the third one. There's the battery. Put in the bulb. Three resistors in series with that bulb. I put in a switch and now I just need to close the circuit by using conducting wires. So in this investigation, what am I changing between the three circuits? What is my independent variable? And what do you think that I'm going to measure? What will my dependent variable be? How can I write the question of this investigation? How does independent variable affect dependent variable? You pause the movie while you decide what goes in those gaps. I'm varying the number of resistors in series between the three treatments. And I'm going to see how that affects the brightness of the bulb in each circuit. So the question is, how does number of resistors in series affect bulb brightness? What must I keep the same between the three treatments so that this is a fair test? All the resistors must have the same resistance. If I'm asking how does the number of resistors affect the bulb brightness. The potential difference of the battery must be the same for all three circuits and we must use bulbs of the same resistance in the three circuits. Now what values we use for these doesn't matter as long as we're consistent between the three treatments. But for this investigation what I've chosen is that each resistor is going to have a resistance of 10 ohms. I'm using 9 volt batteries and the bulbs are also going to have a resistance of 10 ohms. So let's go to our simulation and check that this is the case. So when I click on the battery, then you can see that the properties of the battery comes up, 9 volts. When I click on the bulb, you can see its properties, 10 ohms, and that resistor there, 10 ohms resistance as well, and that one also 10 ohms. And I can do that for all of the circuit elements, and you would see that it's the same for all. Now you need to predict what the answer to this focus question is. How will the number of resistors affect the bulb brightness? Which of these three circuits is going to have the brightest bulb? And why do you say that? Pause the movie while you answer those questions. So now I'm going to close the circuits and as I do so you can see whether your prediction was right and we can see that the first circuit is the brightest. Now we need a table to put our data in. A table needs to have a heading and each column needs a heading as well. Remember our focus question is how does number of resistors in series affect bulb brightness? So we know that number of resistors in series is our independent variable and bulb brightness is our dependent variable. So we must use those variables when we write the headings. So what should go into each of those gaps there? Table showing the relationship between number of resistors in series and bulb brightness. The first column is for the independent variable, number of resistors in series. And notice that in this case we don't have a unit in brackets after the heading because there is no unit for a number. And the same with bulb brightness, the dependent variable does not have a unit so we don't put anything in brackets after the heading and we are using one resistor in the first circuit two resistors and three resistors so we put those values in now we need to fill in the relative brightness for each of these three circuits so what did we see when we closed the circuit remember that we saw that the first circuit with only one resistor had the brightest bulb and the circuit with three resistors in series had the dimmest bulb. So we put that information into our table. So let's answer some questions about this. Pause the movie while you decide which of those two options is correct. The bulb was brightest when there were fewer or more resistors in series. When there were fewer resistors in series, the bulb was brightest. And what about here? The bulb was dimmest when there were more resistors in series. These resistors are in 
series because how can you see that these resistors are in series? Is it because there is only one path or there are two or more paths for electric current to flow? There's only one path. That's how we know that these are series circuits. So what is our conclusion? How do we answer the question? How does number of resistors in series affect bulb brightness? We can give it in this format as the independent variable is increased. The dependent variable, what happens to it? Does it increase or does it decrease? Complete this yourself before you continue. As the number of resistors is increased, bulb brightness decreases. And of course that is only true as long as we keep the same voltage of battery for the three circuits and as long as we have the same resistance of the resistors that we put in series, then the statement is true. Now why is this so? Why do we get the brightest bulb when we only have one resistor in series? And it gets dimmer and dimmer as we put more resistors in series. To help us to understand this, think again about the marble circuit. The marbles represent the electrons inside the circuit. We push the marbles just like the battery pushes these electrons around the circuit. If we put some sandpaper under the marbles. That sandpaper represents a resistor. That will slow the marbles down because it's more difficult to move across sandpaper than across the smooth wood of the groove. The more pieces of sandpaper that we put under these marbles, the more difficult it will be for the marbles to move. And so the marbles will move at a slower rate. So the circuit with three resistors in series with the bulb is like a marble circuit which has four pieces of sandpaper. Why four? Remember the bulb is also a resistor. But the circuit with only the bulb and one resistor is like the marble circuit with only two pieces of sandpaper. One representing the bulb and the other the resistor. And with only two pieces of sandpaper retarding the motion of the marbles, they'll move more easily than if we have four pieces of sandpaper. So how do we complete these sentences? As more resistors are added in series, the the circuit's total resistance, what, decreases, increases, or does not change. This makes it easier or more difficult or the same for electric current to flow in the circuit. So current strength will flow how? Will it decrease, increase, or does not change? And so the bulb will shine dimmer. Complete the gaps before you continue. As we put more resistors in series, the circuit's total resistance increases, and that makes it more difficult for the electric current to flow in the circuit. So the electric current strength decreases and the bulb shines dimmer. And we can see this in our simulation too. Notice how the electrons are moving around the circuit and they're moving at a greater rate in the first circuit where there's less resistance and they're moving at the slowest rate in the third circuit. Now you should just remember though that this is not the only way to show current. We now think that electrons move through the circuit and that is what current is. But in the past, before they knew about electrons, they decided to take current direction as being from positive to negative. And this is called conventional current. So conventional current is taken as flowing in the opposite direction to the direction in which electrons flow. As you can see in this simulation, the direction shown by these arrows. But it doesn't matter whether you take the flow of electrons or the flow of conventional current. In both cases, we can see that we're getting a higher flow rate where we have fewer resistors and a lower flow rate where we have more resistors. And that helps us to understand why the bulb shines brighter where there are fewer resistors.